This video is going to walk you through how you can upload documents into OneDrive for Business if you want to use this option to back up your files for this summer. I've logged into my Office 365 account online and I'm going to click on OneDrive in the upper right hand corner. And this is going to be my OneDrive for Business cloud storage. I have 50 um, gigs of space. You probably have the same. This is huge. You're going to like having this as an option. You can see I have several folders already in here and I'm already using OneDrive for Business. You might be in that same situation. If not, it might be completely blank and you can add your first folder. One thing you do need to know before we start moving files over is that you are currently, if you're at our elementary campus and using a computer that is running XP as the operating system, you're going to actually need to move the files over a little bit at a time. And OneDrive for Business does not allow you to upload an entire folder. So if you are one that has a lot of folder structure in your My Documents, you have a folder within a folder within a folder and there are files in there, this might not be the best option for you. Once we transition to Windows 7 this summer and you return to school in the fall, there's going to be an application that's already loaded on your computer called OneDrive for Business Sync. And it's going to allow these files to seamlessly sync from your computer to OneDrive for Business and you will be able to use folders. But in this case, if you're opting to back up your files to OneDrive for Business, I'm going to show you how to do it. Since you can't upload folders, you need to set up that folder structure from the beginning. So I'm going to minimize that a little bit and pull up my My Documents window and you'll notice that I have them kind of side by side because I'm going to need to be able to see them this way. And you can see in My Documents that I have some folders and this particular one called New Students is one that I want to back up into my OneDrive for Business. So since I cannot just move this entire folder, I need to click the New button in OneDrive for Business, select New Folder. The first thing I'm going to do is name it. And I'm going to do a little trick right now because I have so many folders in here. I'm putting an underscore in front of it so it'll go near the top of the list. I click Save. It just makes this video easier. So once I get the folder in there, I go ahead and click on the folder name to open it. And there, are, I have two different options on how I can upload files. The first one is to click this Upload. By the way, if I wanted to put a folder inside of here, I would still do the same thing. I'd click New and choose New Folder. But I want to just move some files over from my computer up to OneDrive for Business. So I click on Upload. This allows me to select one file at a time. So I hit Choose File. And then I know it's over in my Documents. I know it's in the New Students folder. And I'm going to grab this first folder. And I tell it OK, or the first file, and tell it OK. And it's uploading it right now, and there it is. So that's one at a time. You're probably not going to want to use that option because there's another one that's even better. So I'm going to open the new students folder on my computer. And this is why it's important to have two windows like this. And then instead of uploading one file at a time, I'm just going to grab these files. I didn't grab the first one because I've already moved that one over. But my little trick there was I held the um, shift key down and I clicked the first uh, the first file I wanted and then I clicked the last file I wanted and grabbed them all and then I'm going to click and drag them over and notice that that little box opens up and says drop here when I let go they all start uploading so this is great if you have a bunch of files that you want to upload all at once just remember if you have folders in your file it's not going to go 